Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion, and this time we're going to look at the round brush, what it's used for and how it works. So we're going to switch to the headset view and grab that brush and you can see which one we're talking about. Hold your breath. Okay, you can breathe again. So here are our brushes and this one, the round brush, pointed round brush. This is the guy we're using today. Okay, so this is the round pointed brush. And unlike most of the other brushes, there are no other flavors. You can't use your thumb controller to change this brush in any way. What you see is what you get. However, this brush itself is very versatile. It's large enough to hold a good amount of paint. And it's also, you'll notice, thick in the middle and pointed on the end which means we can actually get a variety of use out of this brush. A gentle touch will just use the pointy bit. More pressure on the canvas will make a broader, darker stroke. So I got a nice canvas here ready to go. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna get some lovely dark blue on my brush. And you can see how it actually shows loaded paint on your brush. I'm just gonna smear around a little bit. Smear around a little bit. It's a brush. You'll notice as you paint, as you run out of paint, it fades. It gets brushy and bristly. If you want that effect, you can load your brush and then get rid of some paint and then just do light strokes to get that faint line effect. If I really load it up with paint and then press a little more, you can see how it does get a darker coverage. But the more I paint, eventually the brush itself starts to run out of paint. Now, as you look at the brush visibly, you can actually see how there are spots of blue paint still on the tip of my brush. Yes, if I turn my brush so I rub that part on the canvas, I get a little more paint out of it. So I can use the brush and turn the brush to get more paint off of more sides of the brush. And you can always see visibly which parts of your brush still have paint on them. So the round brush has its own little gauge on how much paint it's got. If I go with a very gentle touch, I'm just using the very tip of the brush so it's a very fine, thin line. If your hand is wobbly, your brush will be wobbly. However, we do have a button, button D, which adds what's called the hand stabilizer. It will actually add a message at the bottom of your easel when you've got the hand stabilizer going. Now, if I do a stroke, it's much smoother, it's much more even. Any wobble in my hand will get ignored. I can still do curves and things like that, but now it's a nice smooth, gentle curve. If I try doing that same curve without the stabilizer, it's a little more wobbly, it's a little more blotchy. So if you need the smooth lines, hand stabilizer, B button, will give you that much more control. So the round brush, the tip for thin lines, just gentle pressure, more pressure gets more brush on the paper. You can even vary that as you paint. So start thin, then press harder, then let go again, and you can get a line that goes narrow and thin varying as you paint it. This is great for natural lines, ocean waves, leaves on the tree. I can do things that play with it, like come in gentle, but then spiral in. So it gives me sort of a comma shape or a leaf shape. Let's get that stabilizer going again. Leaves, berries. It takes a bit of practice, but it's a way of combining the thin point with a thicker brush. I'm actually gonna to switch to headset view and do a couple of more of those up close. So let's load up with some paint here. Gently start with the tip as you move and then press down 
So you can see how it changes as you move your brush. The round pointed tip brush gives you a lot of ways to experiment and try doing different things. It works great for like candle flames and torches, leaves and berries. I've got the stabilizer going. So it's nice and gentle. Without the stabilizer, they tend to be a little more blobby, a little harder to control because your mouse, I mean your brush might wobble a little bit more. And as I do this, now we can start to see the paint coming off the tip of the brush. Less paint on that side, more on that side. So now I can go to the other side and get some more blue paint until that one runs out. Now I've got a little bit more paint up here. And now there's very little paint left in the brush tip at all. Okay, back to studio view and let's wrap this up. So there you have it the round pointed tip brush to do a lot of various different tasks, good versatility, good coverage. One of the most commonly used brushes for painting, ideal for your details and a lot of expression. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We do this all the time at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. We'd love to let you, uh, we'd love to hear what you'd like to learn about. We're going to be covering all of the brushes and all of the components in this oil painting app called Vermilion. Thanks for watching, everyone.